Okay, this is a 1965 uh, Volkswagen that has been 100% converted to electric. Uh, it is a 72 volt system. Um, while I've had it up to nearly 50 miles an hour, its real intent is more as a neighborhood electric vehicle, um, it, which is more the 35 mile an hour range for two people. Uh, the car has been totally restored to showroom conditions. Uh, you can see the interior there. The one modification down below is the um, volt and amp meter for the electric system. Everything else is 100% stock dash. It's a 6 volt radio which still operates and a 6 volt wiper system which still operates and even the gas gauge is still in place even though uh, there's no gas tank um, it just completes the dash. The interior has been all redone with all new headliner, seats, seat covers, carpet, door panels. There's the carpet, even the clutch which is non-functional still remains in the vehicle. Actually it means that you could redo the car back to gas if ever you would want. Uh, there are a total of nine batteries, six back here in the rear. These are heavy duty um, uh, golf cart style batteries. Uh, rear, these are heavy duty um, uh, golf cart style batteries. Okay, now that we've got the sun out, you can see that the color of this car is aquamarine. Um, a very, very uh, pretty color. It's uh, seafoam green is another color for it. Um, and let's look at the back. Uh, just for fun, I welded up a plate and mounted uh, the old pea shooter um, tailpipe extensions, but obviously they're non-functional. Here is the uh, uh, heart of the matter, the electric motor, the Alltrax controller, the contactor, the shunt, you have your fusible link, uh, it has an Alcon um, battery charger and here's the remote uh, sensor of that and also there's an onboard trickle charger for the 12 volt accessory battery uh, used for the wipers turn signals and so forth accessory battery uh, used for the wipers turn signals and so forth here is under the hood very clean installation uh, it's a 12 volt system but the accessories the wiper and the radio use uh, 6 volt so that's a step down uh, that allows those to still be used all the lights headlights turn signals etc are 12 volt um, the old uh, washer bottle and this is obviously where the, where the spare goes I don't have a spare in there because of uh, weight uh, wait. The car has Firestone 56015 white wall tires all the way around. Uh, Body work is in beautiful shape. As you can see down the sides. And all the way around. So now we're inside. This has a unique locking steering wheel, a, uh, a European option, uh, so you don't have your normal uh, ignition switch plate here. It's in this locking mechanism. Uh, to operate the car, you simply turn the switch on 
you see a little green light came on here, the old oil light that lets let you know that the system is on. And now the voltmeter is reading 72 volts, which is what the system is. And the amp meter won't read anything until we put some juice to it. To drive it, you just simply put it in second gear. You don't even need first gear because of the gearing is so low. Step on the accelerator, and away we go. Uh, it's nice and quiet. see the amp meter going and then I let off the gas and the amps immediately start stop uh, to shift the car you simply let off the accelerator it kills all juice to it and you dry shift it second third fourth gear uh, and I'll show you reverse once we get home here sorry about that Now I talked about reverse and uh, on the controller is a half speed reverse uh, mechanism and, and so what I do is I have this toggle switch here and you flick it over you might be able to see that the light came on that lets you know that it's half speed and uh, thus when you put it in reverse you don't have the, the car go rocketing back. So we put it in there, put the car back in reverse and we go back at half speed which is much safer uh, because of the low gearing and the immediate you know, um, power that you have to the motor. Flick it back, back in first gear, flick it back, back in first gear. And there she goes.